In today's tutorial, we're going to cover the tools you need to set up your first lychee slicer scene found under the Layout tab. To get started, you first need to find the file you want to 3D print. To do this, click on Add Files, locate the file on your computer. We support most 3D formats, however, .stl and .lys, lys being lychee's own format, is always recommended. Select it and then click Open. You can also drag and drop one or more files directly into lychee slicer. You should notice a dark gray box with a grid. This represents the build plate of your 3D printer. A larger box represents the build volume of your printer in the X, Y, and Z coordinates. Z being the maximum height your printer can print. The entire area both inside and outside the box is called the scene. The area inside the box is called the build area. It's important to note that any object outside of the build area will show up in red and will not print. Working in a 3D space can be a little bit disorienting at first, but an important tip is to only manipulate objects in one or two dimensions at a time. Select the object you want to move, or if you have multiple objects loaded into your scene, click and drag your mouse to select multiple objects. Another method to select more or one objects is to use the object library. You can select one or more at a time by holding down the shift key. Select the move tool or hit T on your keyboard and then click and drag on the blue, red, or green arrows to move in one dimension. To move your object in two dimensions at a time, click on the colored square panel. To move your object in 3D space, click on the center diamond. Pro tip number one. In the objects library, click on the caret to see more details. Click on the hamburger icon to add notes, or click on the gear to sort by name. Click on the gear again to sort by the import order. You can also type in the movement directions on the X, Y, Z coordinates down to 0 0.01 millimeters on the movement panel on the right of your screen. Pro tip number two. If you're not used to using millimeters, lychee can be converted to use inches. However, this isn't really recommended as most 3D artists and tabletop games are all described in millimeters across the entire community. Going down the list, we'll find the arrange all. This will arrange all the objects in the scene, whether they are selected or not. Lift up will lift the object up based on the distance set on the right panel under Distance. On Plate will set objects directly onto the build plate. Note that if you rotate an object, whatever surface is close to the build plate is the one that's going to make contact. You can confirm this by rotating your view down to the bottom, and any area touching the build plate will be highlighted in green. Original will move the model back to the original position of the 3D file, while Center will move the object to the center of the lychee scene. Pro tip number three. Sometimes when the original artist cuts up the model, they will leave the original position discussed earlier exactly where it needs to be when assembled. To show you what I mean, I've loaded this cute little crocodile from Grumpy, and if I hit Control A, it will select all the parts of the model. Then I can go to Move and click on Original. All the pieces will snap together exactly how the 3D artist left them, which in this case just happens to be the fully assembled model. The rotate tool is very similar to the move tool, where you can rotate in one, two, or three dimensions at a time. Hit R on your keyboard or select rotate. Select the red, green, or blue to rotate in a single dimension, the yellow outer ring for two dimensions, or click anywhere on the model to rotate in all three. Pro tip number four. If you select multiple objects and rotate, they will all rotate around the new center of access of the group. However, if you type in the value in the rotate menu, the objects will rotate on their own axes. On plate will allow you to select a surface of an object and pin it to the build plate. O2O will allow you to select the surface of one object and pin it to the surface of another object. This can be really useful when assembling models in a lychee scene. Auto orientation will attempt to find the most optimal orientation of your model. However, if your model is complex, it's best to do it yourself. Finally, reset will reset the file to its original orientation. Scale will function much like the move tool, but instead of the arrows, there will be cubes. And like the move tool, you can scale in one, two, or three dimensions, depending on where you click. The shortcut for this tool is S. Using the scale panel on the right, you can scale by percent, or exact measurements. When uniform scaling is on, entering a value will scale the entire object by that value. When it's off, only a single axis will be scaled at a time. Copy will make more than one copies of a selected object. If you copy an object where you've done some preparations like supporting, hollowing, or other modifications, Leechy replicates everything. This can save you a lot of time if you wish to print multiple copies of the same object. Mirror will transform an object into its mirror image. Note this does not make a copy. The measure tool has two major functions. 
First is to measure the distance between two points. The second function is to scale an object to a specific size. Select two points from your object and then enter in a new value under measure. This will uniformly scale the entire object based on the value entered. And now let's get into some more advanced features, starting with planar cut. This tool is used to cut up your object using a two dimensional plane. Use the arrows to position the plane or the rings to rotate it till you find its desired location for the cut. The white box indicates where the cut will take place. If the white plane intersects the object in more than one place, you're gonna to wanna to go to select cutouts. This will allow you to select or deselect the desired cuts. Note, only the surfaces highlighted in green will be cut by the tool. After hitting apply, you will find that you have one or more new objects in your object library that you can interact with independently. For this next tool, it's important to inform you that not all 3D objects are seamless or share the same shell. Some files you acquire are just a bunch of individual objects grouped together in a single STL. The ungroup tool will ungroup all these objects into individual components. The merge tool works the exact opposite, where you can take multiple objects and group them together to create a new single object. This can be extremely helpful for kit bashing, where you take other components, recombine them to make new variants of your favorite models. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. Please reach out to the Lychee team on Discord or Facebook, and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.